This challenge is about how young people, 11 to 17 year olds, can use technology to self-motivate, self-check and improve their thought within society and their overall health and well-being. Uh, Toshiba's vision is for a human smart community where it uses advanced technology but actually puts people at the centre of it. We like to call it lifeology, which is life and technology being brought together to give everyone a better part of life. If you look at the, the market in terms of technology and the health side of it, wearables are saturated throughout and actually they're directed at adults. So what this challenge is there to do is to encompass those 11 to 17 year olds with what they can do, how they can monitor and how they can then improve their life and build as part of their behaviour with the use of teachers and education, losing some of the data and analytics to help as part of that learning moving forward. Toshiba's expertise is in education. That's what we'd look to bring to the challenge. One such programme we utilise is a programme called Toshiba Ambassadors. Toshiba Ambassadors is where we get like-minded individuals within the education sector who have expertise in technology, but more importantly are living and breathing the education sector now, which is the area of the 11 to 17 year olds that this challenge is looking to answer. They will give you constructive feedback. They will tell you whether it works, whether it sits within what they're looking to do, whether it's engaging enough. So again, they will give you that honest feedback that everyone would want to get hold of. Therefore, using this ambassador program could give you answers to help the future direction of what you're looking to do to improve that well-being of the 11 to 17 year olds. If we only go with what we always know and always have done, we're going to get the same outcomes. So actually working with startups, SMEs and innovators will give us a brand new way of thinking and actually getting a better more complete jigsaw for overall goal, which is a better society. The hints and tips I'd give to applicants applying to this challenge are quite simple. Put yourself in the shoes of an 11, 17 year old. They will not pick up something they've already seen. If it doesn't address a new solution, they won't use it because they've seen it all before. Don't be restricted about what's out there now. Wearables are 10 a penny, so actually look at what your solution is going to deliver them. Make sure it's fun, engaging, not too onerous. Therefore, they will take it up. They will utilise it, they will take it forward. They'll bring it as part of society then, and more and more people want to get hold of this as a solution. What I'm looking forward to seeing with this challenge and working very closely with IC tomorrow is the great solutions that the innovators within the UK come up with how they can engage that 11 to 17 year old, how can they have an impact on the self-motivation of that age group, how they then can take that forward and have the impact that it needs to have in society to make life and technology work together to give a better life for all.